Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you've joined me today. Over the course of November, over the course of this month, we've been looking at reasons to be thankful, and we have covered several different reasons. We're thankful that there is one true God, that He's a triune God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're thankful that He created us in His own image and that He created us especially in the way that He wanted us to be. We're also thankful that we have His Word and that it's true and reliable, that we can trust it because it is His Word. And it, we're thankful also because His Word tells us that our, the means of our salvation was settled before the creation of the world. And that means of salvation was grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. The Bible also tells us that we're saved by grace, not by our works, and that our faith is to be put in Jesus Christ alone. And we're thankful that we understand and know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And that as we trust him and follow him, then we have the relationship with God that he created us to have with him. God not only created us to have a relationship with him and to be able to know him and to have an abundant life and experience with him uh, upon this earth, but God created us to be with him eternally. And the Bible tells us that Jesus has prepared a place for us that someday we will be able to experience. And that place that he has prepared for us is heaven. And he has prepared a home specifically for you and for I in what we call heaven or what the Bible calls heaven. Listen to these words uh, of Jesus that come from John chapter 14, beginning in verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, <coughs> Let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Jesus was reassuring his disciples that there was going to be um, a place for them in his kingdom. His kingdom we call heaven. And that place that is found for us is not prepared by us. It's not prepared by any of our ancestors or any of our friends that have passed away and gone on to be there but prepared by the Lord himself. Jesus has already prepared a place for you and for I, for each person that has believed upon him alone as the way, the truth, and the life, the means of our salvation, the one that we are to trust in. And as we have believed and trust and relied upon, as we have given ourselves to him, he has written our names on the doorpost of one of those places that belong there um, in his kingdom uh, that belong to, to us, that he's going to give to us. And so be thankful that he already has that place, that he is the king of heaven, and that someday we will be able to worship him there in holiness, um, there will not be any. Uh, there will not be any disease. There will not be any pain. There will not be any sorrow. It will be filled with love and joy and peace. It will be a place where we're able to experience the full glory of God the Father and God the Son. I hope that you have that to look forward to in your own life. Um, you know, if you don't have a church home. We at Temple would love to help you grow in your faith, and we would invite you to come and join us here. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m. 
and on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We would love to help you if you don't have a relationship with Christ. You don't know if you're going to be able to experience that heavenly home someday or not. Please contact us. We want to be able to help you know for certain that Jesus has a place for you in his kingdom. God bless you, and I hope that you will join me next time as we begin a different study uh, during the month of December, looking at um, all of the gifts that God has given to us in Christ. God bless you, and I will see you then.